Does having a big nose mean you might also have a big old eggplant? Well, this new South Korean study confirms that. So I guess as guys, we got to talk about this. Yeah, from silly <laughs> to serious, always breaking it down, guys. Make sure you like this video because this is going viral on Instagram right now. Definitely sort of on the sillier side. But long story short, Andrew, there was a brand new uh, soul study that came out and said that there is a positive relationship between nose size nose protrusion and penis length this confirms a previous study andrew in japan in 2021 where they studied a bunch of male cadavers which is you know just that's just very japanese that's a whole nother thing but long story Why short you do that? the live korean males you know the nose correlation thing it, it, it matches up with the previous study from tokyo university uh there's also some other things they found they said also men with lower bmi body mass index also possibly had larger pp sizes and then also it said that the bigger the foot the guy has the wider the wiener was right 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 so <laughs> you're saying that the previous assumption that the size of the foot was the length of the weenie is wrong. It actually is the circumference. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. If you got big feet and a big nose, that means you probably got a long, wide. So you're saying, based off people's physical attributes, you can literally model to the diameter, radius, length, width, volume, mass, somebody's weenie. Who knows, guys? Um, like we said, silly to serious, we're breaking it down. And why do you think this is going so viral on Instagram? This is the type of thing that like everybody, especially guys, are gonna joke about and click on after a hard day of work. Yeah, you know? because people all right, people are obsessed with another man's like penis in a way you in know the west specifically. especially in the west because we almost look at it like yo if i know i got a bigger dong than you then i almost don't have to respect you as a man which is messed up because really although i get why you think dong size matters but as far as being a man a productive person and even a possibly dangerous man in society or a you know a protective man in society the dong size doesn't have anything to do with it of course when it comes to in the bedroom sure it has maybe something to do with it but i guess what I'm saying is that in the West, it's almost like a death sentence if you got a micro pee, pee Yeah, right, right, right. And of course, it leads to a lot of stereotypes. I would say, obviously, Asian guys in general as a group on more on the, you know, taking an L in that sort of scenario. Yeah. Whether it's true or not. Let's get into the comments section and then our own takeaways. Andrew, somebody said, no wonder why Voldemort was so pissed and he wanted to burn down the world. This guy had no nose. Think about the study. No nose means nah. he, had, he had a little that's but that's why. so messed up man that's why i support the tiny meat gang movement because i'm like these guys with the small meats they need representation and they need empowerment yeah because how is it going to be like oh just because you got a micro wiener that you should go become a terrorist right 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 and it's sort of gone along with the new short kings and everything and sort of yeah. everybody just joking about a lot of things that people used to not joke about somebody said this is cap man my nose huge, man, and I, I ain't packing like that. Somebody said, as someone with a big nose, I can tell you that that ish, unfortunately, is not true. Someone said, I can't confirm. I have a micro nose. <laughs> um, I mean, I would guess, uh, so the nose is an organ, and so is the PP is also an organ, so I don't know if it just means you might have larger organs. I'm just trying to go along with the study and try to logically right. work this out. And you're saying that there was some prenatal hormonal genetic explanation for this, right? Yeah, there's some, there technically some science to back this yeah, up. Yeah, several studies have suggested that hormone exposure in the prenatal period affects the growth of re reproductive organs. Hey, I don't man, know. who knows? I never looked into this stuff before. Somebody said, uh, in this case, Gonzo from the Muppets just got the final laugh. Same with Squidward. SpongeBob! Somebody but, said... <laughs> wait, uh, wait, wait. I'll, but then Squidward was always so grumpy. Yeah, that's true. Who knows? Somebody said, bigger people have bigger body parts, okay? This just in tall people are tall. Because they're saying if you have bigger feet, bigger hands, a bigger nose, technically that would probably correlate with just being a much larger person, much larger person, that could be the correlation. Yeah, I would really like to know how height is factored in this because think about it. If the guys with the bigger noses all happen to be taller, then wouldn't it also kind of just be saying that like taller guys might have larger penile size? And, 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 you know? and taller guys having larger Dong, taller dongs would not make go viral at all because that's already what people would think is logical, exactly. right? Exactly. Do you know what it is? You need to have everybody be 5'8 or 5'9 mm. and then do this as a control. See, that's, I'm teaching you guys science. Somebody said, is this what the Japanese are studying? Not how to end global warming, increase health and vitality, world peace, just penis to nose size ratio? Okay, bravo. By the way, guys, I think that in Japan and Korea, they study a lot of things. Dude, I would say this. Listen, if you're Korea, 
Why wouldn't you study this? The Korean wave is going on, all right? You got K-pop everywhere on earth. And then, of course, as a researcher, you're like, hey, you know, it'd be pretty cool if, like, I went viral too. So, like, what can I research? <laughs> like, right. I'm trying oh, to find everything out. Everything else already got studied. I guess I'll just go into this field that not that many put, people put time <laughs> into. Somebody said, uh, well, in the Japan study, dead people don't get erect. So how they accurately measure this, some people are growers. <laughs> right, you can't go. And then someone, uh, some girl was like, "Yeah, so what? Someone was just going around trying to jerk off these dead bodies." Oh my goodness, man! What were they doing in Japan? Somebody said uh, lies. My ex had a big ass nose, but had a shrimp weenie. This was from a girl. Um, I know too many men with big noses and small eggplants. This was from another girl. Um, my aunt has a big nose. Does that mean that she also has a big penis? <laughs> but when these girls say, "I know too many men," I'm like. Uh, what's the sample size? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, what is the correlation for a girl having a big nose? Huh? Which body part do they have that's extra big? Hilarious. Somebody said, great. Another way for Asians to perpetuate fat phobia about BMI. Golly, Asians are so locust. I mean, I think that there is a balance here of being locust in this new like visual uh, uh, world that we live in, but, right. also, but also being healthy. Like, and I'm not saying people with larger BMIs aren't healthy because BMI is like, it's not really a perfect like measurement. It's a little old school. Yeah, like I have a larger BMI, even me. And I think I'm, I'm very healthy, obviously. But like, I think that, uh, I think ultimately Asians need to just focus on living healthy, fit lives. And I think that's the most important. And you can be big and healthy, by the way. I think this uh, comment came from an Asian girl who probably, you know, dates a lot of non-Asian guys. She said, y'all want to beat the small D allegations so bad and I don't blame y'all, but please... Quit with the studies. But but I, I think it's, to be honest, I know a lot of people think this is a frivolous study. I think it's, listen, they're, ner they're researchers. You got to research something. <laughs> I don't think they were just stretching the cadaver weenies for fun, man. They probably were just studying things. I don't know. Who knows? Somebody said, uh, I'm from Korea, and a lot of people have nose jobs. So does that really skew the study? <laughs> Wait, I, I need couldn't. to know who were the people who were like helping with the study, like the nurses and stuff. Like who signed up were for they it? Like, you know, are they there? Like, who's measuring? Who's doing the work here? Who's the assistant researchers? A girl said, a girl at my college figured this out years ago. She'd guess a dude's dong size based on nose, hand, and foot size with 85% accuracy. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would go along with the study, right? What was the sample size? Yeah, I need to know the sample size. We need more details on this. If, hey, listen, if there are people out there, men or women, who are conducting this, this, this study in real life, we need to know the details, and I need to see the numbers, all right? You guys got to keep it in an Excel sheet. All right, Andrew, let's just get into our takeaways. Obviously, we always break down everything silly to serious here. This is definitely... In a way, for sure, on the silly end, but it's going viral, right? Yeah. Because it's science. So science is serious. Yeah, I would like to hope that the more conversations we have about peen size uh, or even vaginal size, for that matter, I think that those should be less important or at least less judgmental. I get it personally if you care about that kind of stuff. That's your own personal mm. preference. But to treat people differently because you know they have a smaller peen or, uh, I don't know, girls don't really like joke on each other about their stuff. But anyways, guys on guys, we really joke and crack on each other about this. And I think that needs to stop. And I think it's, it, it is changing a little bit as the, as the years go on, I see the short king movement. I see the tiny meat gang movement. I see the, you know, the three inch movement and stuff like that. So I think it's good. The guys are getting more empowered. Yeah. I mean, I think it's interesting, guys. Let us know what you think of this study in the comment section below. Is there any legitimacy to it? Honestly, even if there is a slight trend towards this being true, Andrew, what if it's only like 65 out of 100? Mm. So it barely got over 50%. Right. And if it was below 50%, then you'd say it's definitely not yeah. true, right? Obviously, it's not true for everybody, guys. But I do want to ask this question. What studies are you willing to believe in? Because there's real studies out there that we noticed in the past few years, David, obviously dealing with the Ovid situation and, and the vaccine and stuff that a lot of people didn't believe. But are those same people believing this study? Are they going to yeah. be like, yeah, well, of course. I knew it, man. Big noses. Of course, I got this big old nose right here. And I'm like, what studies are you going to believe? Because if you believe... Some studies, are you believing all or are you discounting this one just because it doesn't agree with what you believe already? 
I know for one thing, for me, it's just like, I don't even take all this stuff that serious. Yeah. And I just like, I like everybody joking about it. It's funny to me. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.